Hi everybody, it's Emily and I'm just getting ready for bed. So tonight I had a me night. <laughs> so I put my daughter to bed at 8 o'clock and it's about 11.30. So I've just been doing whatever I want for the last couple of hours. And uh, I love doing this. I love spending time alone. It's really good for you to spend time alone. And I find a lot of times, I know a lot of my friends just like do not like being alone at all. They either get bored or they just like, they just don't like it. It's uncomfortable and they just rather be with people. But it's really, really good for you to be by yourself. Now, I know sometimes like when I'm by myself, I would like think a lot. Um, and like maybe sometimes overthink things, you know, like when you're by yourself, your mind might be running and you might think of situations or things maybe that didn't even happen. Um, so I think that's a lot of the reason why a lot of people don't like spending time alone because they either they get bored or their mind runs and they don't like that. So they like to stay preoccupied with um, something else or being around other people. So if either one of these two things is the reason that you don't like being alone, uh, just know that if you really like being around people, it's really, really, really good to be alone. So get used to, uh, being uncomfortable at first. And, uh, if your mind is running with things like sometimes you might think over different situations that happened before in the past the present things that might happen in the future and then start like overthinking them so the way to do that is realize that that's what you're doing and bring yourself back to the present so if your mind wanders like back to the, the past um recognize it right away and then bring yourself back like because that's the past so you don't even need to go back there and think I should have said this or I should have done that or that's done 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 don't think about it and then you just have to like train your mind to know the past is done 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 present same with the future don't think too far ahead because then you create things that haven't even happened yet or worry about things that haven't even happened yet and like sometimes like we can create stories um sometimes they're good stories of like the way that things might be in the future but that's also not always a good thing do you know what i mean um, especially like in relationships, like if you're thinking way in the future, like two or three years down the road, like, oh, we're going to be happy living in a house with a dog and like, no, you don't even want to think about that either. Just try and stay in the absolute present because that's like, what's, I think Gabrielle Bernstein calls it something like future, future tripping or something because like, you don't need to think about that either. That's something you do like when your mind wanders. So you, if you're aware of that, just bring yourself back to the present. And what was the other thing that I was going to say? So that's what you do if your mind's wandering. Um, and if you're bored, if you're bored, then you need something that's bigger than yourself that you can like immerse yourself in. I would guarantee you if you're bored at, when you're with your friends or alone, that's because you're not doing something that is like passion, like, like your passion, like you're not working towards something or like you really don't know like what your purpose is in life if you're bored. I never, ever, ever get bored ever. I don't think I've even really got bored when I was a child because I always find something I really, really loved and uh, like just like immerse myself in it. And it was usually like arts and crafts or something um, artistic or something like that that I just like 
loved. So uh, you need to find, if you're bored, something you love. So I did like a five part series on um, this on my blog. So I will go back and I'll compile that for you. And um, I think I'm going to have that as an offering. So if you sign up for my newsletter, you'll get this five part series of how to figure out what you're passionate about. So my website is emilylynnfisher.com. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up pretty please and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, and I have a Facebook page. Emily Lynn Fisher is my Facebook page. So, and tell all your friends and share my video and do all that good stuff. And yeah, okay, that's my tip. Those are my sites and you should like them, visit them and give them a thumbs up. Okay, bye. <laughs>